hey, when we're up here in the hills, we want to be able to try to visualize the wind as best we can. One of the main things we want to look at is terrain features. We want to see how that could affect uh, what the wind is doing. set up on a farther shot. We got a uh, reactive target out at about 795 yards, straight line distance. Impact. One more. Impact. Okay, we're at the target. Uh, that's 795 yards away. This was 6.2. The computer even was 0.98 in there. It was asking for 6.3. So that would have went over the top of it here. 6.2 was about right. I had a leveling line right here. Uh, this strike was got to get into a couple shots. Okay, the first thing we want to do is take our readings from our kestrel from our position. Today's uh, barometric pressure is 20.85, we've got 55 degrees up here. Our density altitude for this location is about 12,000 feet today, so for those that are using uh, DA, you want to record that. Uh, one of the big things with angle shooting, number one, it's an ultimate position. You're not going to have a nice comfortable spot. Number two, and probably most important, you got to get up here. Walking, getting through, whether it's the altitude or just the exertion, it's going to tire you, it's going to fatigue you. Getting ready to go hot. Now here's the important part. Your mind has to focus on the target. Look down range, focus on the target. Back in the old days, Hathcock used to talk about it as getting in your bubble. Getting in your bubble so nothing out there disturbs what you're doing. Can have fireworks going off, can have all kinds of things happening. However, we want to focus on the mechanics of running the gun.